This is just what happens when you have a submarine for a car. Isn't that right, Jed? Yeah, it's better than MOT. It's got a perished bush. It's got a perished bush. Other than that, it's fine. I don't see an issue with this. <laughs> so All right, I am Colin. And this is Shine Automotive, and today we're back on with Nathan Subaru and getting some proper work done on it so he's not going to waffle. This is a really good build, this Subaru. It is a proper rare thing. The specs down below because I was going to tell you and I forgot, but it's a proper rare thing and it is a good build. So watch this footage, you will enjoy it. Hope everyone's alright and had a good week. It's another Shine video. La 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 la. Good morning, people of YouTube. Me and Jed are here. He's saying good morning. It's two o'clock in the afternoon because someone slept in this morning. I did not do such a thing. That was Jed who slept in this morning, not me. Well, I was in for the 10 o'clock. It is Sunday. We were out last night. I'll make that point. Yeah. <laughs> we were out last night for a few shandies. Uh, here now to start doing the big strip down to get this to a bare shell i don't think we'll be able to get it all done today but we are planning on getting every bit of the interior out the dashboard the boot the boot lining and all sorts but that's what we're planning on getting done today so we haven't got a hangover for once so yeah but first thing jed's gonna get on doing all the interior he's gonna start removing that i have a camera which i'm not gonna point at the car <laughs> we have a gun gun <laughs> he has a gun with him so he's gonna get on with removing all of these rear lights all the interior like boot lining all that crap in there yeah. i'll be on inside starting to strip down all the interior which i will get recording on a time lapse on my phone let's crack on Five minutes, I'm taking these rear lights out. The previous owner, or some previous owner, has decided it was a good idea to silicon the lights in. I don't know why, it is beyond me. Both of them are siliconed in very nicely. It's been messing around with the wiring. Yeah, we've got a plug, yeah. we've got clip wires, oh. all the joys of Subarus. <laughs> well, I've got movement. Yeah, look at the state of that. Mmm, why? Why are that. people idiots? Not as bad, but still not. But look, it's had a seal. Yeah, it's had, it's had a seal on there. It passed, and some tight ass has decided not to buy a new seal. So as you can see, we've made some very good progress in here. We've got the seats out. We've got starting to get all the seat belts out. The um, thingy bob in the middle, that's um, that's out. Center console, that's the word I was thinking of. And Jed's just on with removing the clips for the rear bumper. He's well, going to get I on say, with that. I say removing them, most of them yeah. rotted out anyway. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a lot to get the rear bumper off. Like. No, I've already pulled my side off. <laughs> I'm going to start taking a few more bits out in the back. Uh, well, inside, I mean. So I can get the carpet out and then we'll task of trying to get the 
dashboard out. Hang on, I'll stay online. I think this will come on. I think you can see my breath in this. I bet that smells like vodka. So, yeah, got all this trimmy thingy my bob off. That's all off. We need to get a knife to cut out the silicon of these rear windows and get them out of the way. But I'll be leaving them. That won't be today, I don't think. Cheers, just done with this. Yeah, yeah, probably a couple of minutes yet, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting on very nicely. We've got the wings off as well, but that obviously to get the doors out. So as we can see, the bumper is now finally free. Look at this. As you can see, it's very nice and rock free. So there's all this that I want doing. It's just, yeah, it's just cosmetics really. It's, it's really not too bad. All the arch, yeah, it's, 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 it's very soft. I mean, maybe, well, here we go. Yes, look at this. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, not my problem, that's Colin, so anyway. This side isn't as bad. It's actually quite solid at this side. No, I can see, I can see the so, under there is a bit bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Could be worse, I suppose. All that silicon on there, yummy. Good looking silicon. So yeah, let's so just remove the rear wiper motor. Hang on, we've got water pipe issues and electrical issues. That just pops off. And does that pull off? Yeah, try again. <laughs> there, there it is. There we go. Lovely. Wiper motor out. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, it's plodding along nicely. Yeah, yeah, there is a fair amount of rust on this poor thing, but nothing too serious, I suppose you could say. <laughs> yeah, all good fun. Finished for Christmas, eh? Yeah, we finished for Christmas. <laughs> I was originally planning on it being six months to get done, but that's before the other Subaru came yeah, back. On the same token, the Nathan's time scale, if you turn it down, that's my Subaru. Uh, that was meant to be finished for Christmas. Yeah, this is supposed to be done for it Christmas. It doesn't have an engine in it. So, well. Nathan's timing is just a rough estimate at the best of times and now I've decided to help him with his instead of him helping me with hit with mine. <laughs> so yeah, all good fun. Right, so we've got a lot more of the stuff out now. We're just gonna get on with doing the dash, aren't we, Jed? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be a fun fucking job, innit? Getting all the dash out. I know it will be more fun, trying to find out whether everything goes back together, but that's a problem for another time. Oh, so, I found the problem straight away. Oh no, what? Them little covers will have screws underneath, won't they? I don't know, hopefully not. <laughs> if they do, we'll have to punch holes in the windscreen. <laughs> no, we will not be doing that. So, yeah, we'll put this on a time lapse now and we'll get all this dashboard out. So, yeah, hopefully we'll try not break anything in the process. We have, broke the odd, <laughs> we have broken the odd thing whilst taking bits off, but it's fine. It's, well, it's, it's, it's a problem for another day.
issues. These are common issues I've seen them many times before, <laughs> and I am a culprit of it myself. But when it's when you try to when you put it together, yes, it's a fantastic idea because it's quick and it's easy. But when you want to disassemble it, it's just not so easy. <laughs> you know the wiring's bad when even a farmer doesn't agree with what is going on here. I mean, there's a whole loom. This this that's the that's the constant lie for the radio. And there is a whole nother loom which disappears off into the abyss <laughs> that is powered by the radio. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that one goes the other way. I don't know where, uh, it's, it's, it's a later on problem, that. <laughs> Definitely, everything's a later on problem. I look in there and there's like even extra bits wide in here for bloody the fog light and the water spray, the cooler spray. Oh, it's just not very nice, it's just bloody. There's a light thingy about there with no wires on, I don't know whether that's supposed to be there anyway or not. But yeah, this, oh, it's just, oh, jeez. It's just not very nice. Ah, oh, this is going to be cracking when we put it back together. It will, I think we'll have to sort the wiring before we I put the dash back in. Not that it's going to be any time soon, this will be getting done, but you know, it's... It, it's it's a problem for another day. All this wiring. This one ain't too bad. I don't actually quite know what they're trying to achieve with this. Do I just cut this? But red anyway, wire huh? I, should I just, do I just cut that crimped on red wire? Uh, you should be able to un unclip that crimp thing. This clip won't come out. This, this that, no, I mean like um, on there. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, get this plug out. If I can get like a little flappy tappy. Yeah. Uh, if you get a screw. Uh... But yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll put it back in the it. time lapse because we're going to be doing some swearing and. I've been and told Colin to stop this way. Yeah, we're not allowed to swear. We're, we're PG and all that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. Hang on, I'm going to get angry. Um, I'm going to open it up. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've managed to get most of the dash out now. We just need to work out which is the old style immobiliser with the wiring. It's just a mess. It goes up there into the ignition barrel and everything. Into the boxes. So yeah, we just need to work out what goes on with this. So yeah. Uh, oh, just, just for those who, well, we, we have a mate and he had an immobiliser like this. And he thought, ah, yes, in order to get rid of the immobiliser issue, I'll just cut the wires. He did that, and we ended up having to scrap the car for it. So don't think that that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm on about, don't you? Know? I do, I do know exactly what we're on about. Anyway, back onto this. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to get this bar out, disconnect it from the steering column. Then we're going to work out sort of which wires are which. Well, say that, I think that'll be a problem for another day. We're just going to get all the wiring out so we can get all the heater box out. Um, yeah. So let's crack on, shall we? Jed's in the middle of now taking out the heater box, so that'll be out in a second, hopefully. <laughs> and then we'll start, we'll start getting all the pedals out as well. And then we won't be far off much other bits, and that we might start taking roof lining out as well. We'll see how we get on with this at the moment, see how long it takes to get the rest of this dash out. So yeah, let's carry on.
Right, so we have got this mess all sorted. Oh, yeah, my backs are absolutely killing us from all of this. But yep, it now looks like the wiring loom is free. So the strap yet? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh no, there's one wire going over there. Oh, that wire. Where's that wire going? Oh. Do I just pull it really hard? Oh, it's not even attached. Hey, oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Torque piece for the Bluetooth, if it had Bluetooth or whatever it is. We are there. We haven't broken off a lot of things. Some things are broken, which will need to be replaced. It was always going to happen. <laughs> but yep, it's this is a very good progress. We've got everything about here stripped down and that. A lot of other bits to do, obviously, get fuel pipes taken out and that brake pipes at that side and that they'll want taken out a few more bits of electric Early day at work, so we're going to get my car sent up on the ramp and get all the subframes and everything off. We're going to enjoy jacking this up like that. We're going to see how high we can actually get it. It's probably going to crunch an awful lot, but there's a lot well, of weight out of it, so oh, really, we'll see. Yeah, go on then, send her up. Send her up straight away. There's a good Right. Wrong button, Jed. That's also the wrong button. Well. Keep going. Yeah. It's crunching a lot, but it's in the air. Well, the bit you've been waiting for, the underneath. Here we have it. Yes, look at her. Fresh. Very fresh. Oh dear. Oh dear. She's, she needs some work. Some bits are all right. Some bits aren't. But yeah, we've got a fair challenge on our hands. But it will be fixed. It'll be fine. This is just what happens when you have a submarine for a car. Isn't that right, Jed? Yeah, it's fair than MOT. It's got a perished bush. It's got a perished bush. Other than that, it's fine. I don't see anything with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll get the time lapse on. We're going to get everything stripped off underneath it and see what it's like. See how many of these bolts we can break off. So, I think it's not going to be a break off job. I think it's going to be an abomination. Yeah, it's not going to be fun, this. Get but anyway, let's grinders. crack on. It's a Friday night, so we can always go to the pub after this when it's done. Which there's a fair chance we'll be going to the pub in the Jed. Yeah, after my haircut, anyway. Yeah, I'm supposed to be doing dry January, but I think that might be going completely out the window after this. But anyway, let's crack on. <laughs>
So as you can see, we have got everything off. It's here, there's only a few little bits and bobs, but yeah, there we go. It's actually not so bad in areas like this above the fuel tank. Not all along the rear chassis leg, it's just some surface rust. Not obviously these didn't need replacing. Mess. But yeah, it's actually not so bad in areas, except from there, that's bad. The sills are very bad, the noisy wagons. But yeah, um, a lot of bits aren't so bad. So a lot of bits will clean up well when it's been dipped or blasted or whatever I decide to do. Well, hopefully that heat thermal thing, whatever it were. But yeah, it definitely needs the sill sorting. Needs these chassis legs doing, which you can actually buy these, which is quite handy. You can find them, you just have to weld them in. And that, I think they join somewhere here. But anyway, it's not horrendous. And that, it's a lot of pit paint, peel, whatever it is in there, but it's strong, it's not rotten. It's actually not so bad. Surprised the radiators like that. But anyway, onwards and upwards. But yeah, yeah, it's got it's got its problems, but nothing we can't solve, I don't think. It's gonna give me a lot of headaches, which it already has, but yeah, very nice. But anyway. Yep, so that's everything about stripped off, so... What did you get from Greg's? We didn't have any steak, Burks. No way! So, I'll have to get you other things. Look, Nathan, look what I'm on with. Hey. I'm sorting the Subaru video out. Well, yeah, look at that piece. Hey, hey, oh, don't, stop that. swearing! <laughs> warned us about that! Stop swearing. So I'm finishing this, this edit off, and then we're going to go and look at the car outside, because the car is now... Is this the photo? Because the, the is this, this, is, this is all, bro. I've sorted bro. that out. I've sorted, sorted that issue out. I'll show you that. Uh, all that there took me, uh, there, yeah. took me three days to do. Oh, no. We like to but keep you busy, Oh, you, like kept, keep you, you busy. kept us busy. <laughs> so, right, we'll go and have a look at the Subaru outside because it's just been dropped off. We're having lunch first. Having lunch first. <laughs> what, you got me, Nave? What, you got me? With a bit of a mixture. We've got some chicken bakes. Sausage rolls. There's a pizza if someone wants it. I don't, I don't mind a bit of pizza, room. mate. Oh, I want that. <laughs> Which one are you having for chicken there? What are you what having there? Which one are you thinking? What are you having, Sam? Oh, oh, I don't know. Is it a lucky dip? It's a lucky dip, mate. That one's chicken. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, that one's chicken. Go for it. Pastry dog top's different. Oh, no. Dreads are correct. Greg's connoisseur. Right, let's yeah. crack on. Right, so the Subaru has been dropped off and it is rough but not rough because it needs fixing because of the state of the car, of what they're worth, no, that makes no sense. The car is here now, so it's being dropped off and it's going to go to the blasters or the vapors or whatever, or the dippers, whatever it's going to have done, it's going to have something done correctly. One of you lot had sent an email with a place where it's going to go, so that's where it's going. So if you want to watch some more of these videos, click here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.